Hey guys, welcome to Sabri Zone. In this video tutorial, we will gonna discuss about adding extra fields to built-in Laravel registration form. So as you can see, we have eight fields here, but the built-in fields are name, email, password and confirm password. So how did I edit these fields? So first of all, I would like to show you the form is registering successfully. So I will type here some keywords to make it unique email address and then I will click on register. Date is also required. So we will select a date here. Okay. Now if we will register here, if we will go up. So here you can see the parent account is created successfully. The scenario of this website is very simple. You have to create a parent account in order to create a child account. It is a e-learning website. So if we will go to create a child account, we have to verify first the parent email address so that we can confirm that a parent is creating this account. So we will type here a email address which is already in our database and the password of that email address which shows that the parent is creating this account. Okay. Now this is a built in registration form given by Laravel. How I registered that account which I have shown you. So if we will go to our e-learning app, here you can see that I have a registration form and I have submitted that form using Livewire. So if we will go here, you can see that I have a lot of built-in label and inputs. So I have added some fields here which is known as adding extra fields. So I will copy these fields from here. The method one is registering the form using live wire component. As you can see, I have created a function here which registered user account. So another method is using the built in features. So we will go down to our file. And here you can see we have a built in laudable registration form. So here I would like to add these fields, save these fields and now we will go to create new user class. So here you can see we have a built in features and this is found in app actions 45 and create new user. So we have to verify the validation criteria. So I would like to copy validations from this part, copy these fields and I will paste right here. Okay, that's great. So now if we will go to our registration form, we have here confirm password field also. We will copy this and we will go to create new user and we will paste it right here. Okay. Now, as you can see the built in feature uses input array. So we will paste this thing here. Okay. Now it looks great. Let's check it out. So if we will go to our browser and refresh this, I have to verify the parent account. So we will click on create child account. If we will go down, the fields are filled. And if we will go here now, perfect. As you can see, our four fields are added successfully. So I will type here name here once again and email. Of course, it should be unique. So at Gmail dot com and country is Pakistan Lahore that's it and password should be eight characters okay now if I will click on register it is asking for date so we will put date here if I will click on register let's see what it happened confirm password oh undefined confirm password so if we will go to our code our password confirmation name is password dash confirmation. So we will click here and 
copy this now we will go to our create new user instead of confirm password we will paste here password confirmation so let's try it once again refresh the page okay city is undefined input city okay a comma here okay comma is removed now and now if we will try to refresh the page great yeah, as you can see our form is submitted successfully and the account is created successfully so if we will go to our profile you can see we have a new user here perfect for more subscribe and like this video thanks for watching